everybody. What's up? Y'all may have heard that the CEO, former CEO Steve Jobs, has passed away today from his long battle with cancer. Now, you know he stepped down a few months ago from being CEO, but still worked with Apple. And everybody knows that him and Steve Wozniak was creators uh you'll see the picture with him that right there that you'll see the pictures of him and Steve Wozniak working with uh, working on creating Apple because it was two create creators one was Steve Jobs and one was Steve Wozniak Steve Wozniak Lev I can't pronounce his name right because I don't know how to say it right but um, they started Apple in back like early 80s early 80s making computers and stuff and went from the 80s to the 90s making computers software uh, game systems until Steve Wozniak left and it was only Steve Jobs when Steve Jobs was coming up with these ideas out of his fucking ass you talking about this dude came out with iPods iTouch iPhones iTablet iPad whatever he was pulling all these ideas out of his ass. The most brilliant man out there in the world was pulling this stuff out of his head. And they came out looking like... And I see why this man stuck with this. Because he was had all these ideas. All these ideas he had, he made. And it's going to be kind of fucked up that he goes to the technique. Uh, he goes to a convention. A, con a convention every year and G4 shows it it's about uh, the event I don't forget what it's called the event, like, it's like Comic Con or uh, or E3 but it's for tech technical stuff like the next iPhone or the next iPad sometimes he even go to the E3 on the new stuff he's making and he's not going to be at these events no more and it's kind of messed up that he's not going to be there because y'all remember he, he was, y'all remember last year he was sick, so sick, that he still came to the intervention convention, and he was sick. Now that was a man that was out, that, that kept it real. It's like, hey, <laughs> I might be sick, but I'm still gonna go out there and put on a good hell of a show. That was a fucking, now, if that wasn't a business man, I don't know what the fuck it was. This man came out with shit that nobody else would never thought of. iPads, iPhones, iPods. All this stuff he came out with, nobody never thought of. Now, how many people do you know that can do the same shit as Steve Jobs? Don't, don't say Bill Gates. Bill Gates, then, he came up with Windows 97 and okay, uh, Xbox and, and Xbox 360, but this man came out with iPhones, iPods, and sold in every version of it. Like, he just came out with an iPad, iPad 2, 2.0, app, iPad, whatever. He came with all these ideas. The world was not done with him yet. The world was not done with him yet. Everybody was wanting to see what else. Every year, everybody wanted to know what else he's going to put out of a hat. Everybody wanted to know what else what he's gonna pull out of his head because they know this man had ideas that can actually change something. If if he would have lived a little bit longer, lived a little bit longer, I bet you he would have been the first person to get cloning, to do cloning, to sit there and actually maybe end up like that movie with Will Smith, Our Robots. If he was little would have lived a little bit longer. Maybe he would have got to that point. Him and ba what if him and Bill Gates would have got together and did them things and made this world even more different, changed the world? Maybe he would have. Maybe him and Bill Gates would have made would have made the Jetsons car. Would have made a brand new TV where you don't have to sit there and look at a screen. <laughs> or maybe come out with the next best phone. You don't know if he would just live, live a little bit longer. But I'm sad to say that he died from his sickness. And that sickness took him out. This man stuck with the business. Sick as shit. And he's...
still hung in there with this comic. <laughs> I'm getting to work. I'm working on a new phone. I'm working on a new iPad. I'm working on a new whatever. He stuck in there like a champ. He didn't give up. He didn't quit. He, <laughs> I'm sitting. Give me a pad and pencil. I'm in my sick bed. <clears throat> I bet when he was on his deathbed, not to be me. I bet when he was on his deathbed, he was taking notes and writing down on what new ideas he wanted to do next. Because that was Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs passed away at a, two, at a young age and he didn't know need to go because we was waiting on what's the next best thing was gonna, he going to pull out of his hat. What's the next best idea that he had. We wouldn't, and now we would never know. We would never know that what ideas he had left in his bag. That's all we want to know is like, man, because I'm glad that this man stuck into a business and changed the world that he could. And he tried his, that he can and could, because he changed the world a lot. He busted his ass. And I'm glad that he did it, man, because he was the best, dude. He was the best. Besides Bill Gates. Bill Gates spent all his money on a, on a computer house. What did Steve Jobs do? Spend his money on the next best idea. I'm investing my money in the iPod. I'm investing my money in the iPhone. I'm investing my money into the iTouch. I'm investing my money into a touchscreen computer, touchscreen TV. <laughs> and, that, and that's what he did. He kept working. He kept working nonstop. From see, he might woke up. He might have woke up from bed throwing up. Uh, you get a bad right with the next bad. That's what he did. That was Steve Jobs. I'm not dissing the brother. I'm just saying he woke up every day, might have been sick as hell, and he writing all this stuff down. The next best idea, what's next to do, what's on the next gen. He never stopped working. This man never stopped working. And I'm glad that he came to. I'm glad he came out and did what he did. I'm glad God gave us Steve Jobs because without Steve Jobs, man. There wouldn't be no iPhone, no iTouch, no iPod, pad, whatever. None of that. We just would be sitting here in the dark. We just would have sit there and relying on Bill Gates. But I'm glad that we did this. I'm glad that he did all this shit, man, and proved the world what he can. I'm glad he improved the world the best way he could. And I don't think he had to pay the price. He worked, like I said, man, he worked the same way he came. He he died the same way he came into this world, working. Never stopped, man. He's like the little engine that could. Sick as hell, but he still made good ideas come out of nowhere. He made some. I'm glad that he was here today. To, I'm glad that he made something. Made something out of a, him and Steve Wozniak was in a garage fixing with these small ideas and a garage with computers and look at them now. Man had money. Man could have did anything. He could have been the most snobbiest man on earth, but he wasn't. He was a brave man. He was a brave man. So I'm going to give promise to Steve Jobs. I'm glad he <laughs> gave us the things that we got today. Cause, hey, without the iPod, our touch, and all this, man, <laughs> We would have been stuck with just Xbox. And that's it. And this is that for you. If you don't like what I got to say, don't say nothing at all. Just leave. If you like what I got to say and got something to put on this, leave your comments or video response and tell me what you think. Holler at me. This has been Afro Joe.